the liberation sessions. I want to hear. Thank you. Evening. Ladies and gentlemen, it has been a long time since I attended a Toastmasters meeting, more than two months. And it's a very funny thing, within two months, you tend to forget what, how you do things and all that. And, it, and just now, we had a table topic. Oh my God, I will start getting into it. But I, will, I just want to inform our club here. For another short while, I won't be attending meetings. Hmm? I won't be attending meetings. But I'm always an uh, extol Toastmaster, and I'll be very happy. I'm always there in the back. All of you are in my mind. And ladies and gentlemen, so now I won't waste my time. We'll start going into this evaluation session. Okay. And first, we will evaluate all the speakers. The first. Speaker Victor will be evaluated by Jenny. Victor, your speech number 10. Very well done. The power of determination. Because throughout your speech, you were talking about Determination, determination, and determination, and nothing else. You are always enforcing and reinforcing this word, even with synonyms like perseverance, persistence, continuation. Very well done. Just now, Jimson gave you a standing ovation already. <laughs> First of all, you must stand still, Victor. You were moving around a lot because you have done body language, right? Therefore, stand still, keep still. Only move when necessary. Move around the stage, yes, when necessary, but not all the time. You were almost like dancing. <laughs> you have to be firm. Stand firm and use your body language. You have very good eye contact. I can see you look around and you engage everybody. In fact, you started your speech with a question and you make sure that Ji Yong answered you <laughs> and others answer you before you continue to make sure that they are awake. And that's very good. Another thing is you told your story in the third person. You say he, 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 he. Although I can guess Eventually, it is you. But it's very intriguing, right? Because we did not know that it's going to be Victor that he's talking about. We thought that it's a story about somebody, some fairy tale. That's very good. You have a lot of quotes that I pick up. Giving up is not an option. Be positive. My mom is my inspiration. Being determined means to have a clear purpose, go after your dream, difference in being impossible and all that. But you must exercise some vocal variety as well because your voice was very comfortable, very nice. Yes, you have a very sweet voice, but sometimes we need to inject in some vocal variety. I passed my exam! Oh. Right? <laughs> that is the way. Enhance and bring it up. I passed my exam. I passed my exam. <laughs> there is no emphasis. Put in some, inject in some high points into your voice. Bring it to a higher point. Not so comfortable all the time. But sometimes, most of the time, be comfortable, but not all the time. These are the two things I think you need to work on. First is Stand firm. Another one is to exercise vocal variety where it is needed. But of course not throughout the whole speech. But on the whole, your speech is very well done. Because you have a very organized story of yourself. How you work towards success despite many obstacles, despite 
so many things coming against you, environmental or your background, but still you persist. And in the end, you succeed. And that is where you are today. In your present position with your company and your present position with this <coughs> club as a VPM and also, as I said, maybe a better position next time. Victor, very well done. Let's keep it up there. Thank you, Judy. That was a beautiful evaluation, inspiring, motivating. Yes, that's the way it should be. And ladies and gentlemen, just to inform all of you, especially new members, everybody, always remember there's something to learn when you come for a meeting here. And today, Victor, we learn something. Let us be determined. Sometimes we forget these things, small things. Be determined. And again, telling a personal story always helps in a speech. You'll notice all the international speakers, when they give speeches, they always use a personal story. So I think about it, how to get up there, what story can tell about myself. Yes, it is possible, ladies and gentlemen, make up the story. <laughs> oh yes, I'm not laughing, but, uh, I'm not, but make up a story when you want to give a speech just because you want to give a message. That's it, so that's one way. Okay, ladies and gentlemen, we'll go for the next speaker, Ken Ko, to be evaluated by DTM Kwangane. Ken, today you stand up here, you gave me the impression that you are my Managing director speaking to the employees. Firstly, you dressed up well with a with a coat over you, <coughs> but I thought the coat could be a little bit better administered, in the sense that you show when you move around your because your coat is not buttoned, so you we see your inside, which is your T-shirt, which actually breaks down your point again. If you have just cover up the truck and be even better. And of course, along the way, you were speaking very fluently. Wow, a lot of things that you talk about. Is that and you had very good eye contact with the audience, hand gestures here and there. You talk a lot of things, actually. Now, as far as this project is concerned, you are supposed to communicate change. And the change that you are trying to communicate to us is you want us to be adaptable like water, to be very versatile, to be able to adapt to change. And that is the gist of the message that I get from you. In other words, when you started your speech, you had that thing in, in, your, in your speech including the subject matter, subject topic itself, title, the speech title itself, Be Like Water. That already actually give us the message that you want us to be adaptable like water. After you have gone into that one, the only other thing that I saw or I hear from you in your speech that you related very well regarding the change is you told us about your personal change by joining Toastmasters and then improving from there, seeing the change in yourself. After that, you went on and on, talking about leadership, talking about the three R's, which somehow I lost myself there. I don't know why the leadership comes in. I don't know why the three R comes in with role model and all these things. Role model. Yes, yeah, uh, we all know this, but I don't know what is the relevance of this in relation to the change you are calling for. So, so that part, I lost myself to the subject. After that, of course, at the end of it, you, at the conclusion part, you did call for us to change, to be adaptable to change. And that, that part, at, at least it covers back your message, wanting us to change. 
all, all in all, your message is there. But I still find that the strength is not, is not there. Are you all convinced to change? <laughs> Are you all convinced to change? Because I don't see the message in the change very strongly. Respect your parents, he said. I remember that. <laughs> Mother, respect the grandmother. <laughs> <laughs> I remember that. Example, a role model. Ah, yeah, but, but then, how does that relate to the change that he's calling for? So, I see the somehow the transition is not very well connected. The relevance is lost. So, maybe you would like to look into that one. Otherwise, I think you speak very well with, with the it power, like, oh, okay. like a oh. like a person of authority. Oh. <laughs> That's all. Thank you very much. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you, Naming. Naming is so all experienced Toastmaster. So, uh, Ken, I think you can pick up something from her what she has said. Like about the three R. I know what he was saying was if you're working somewhere you be the role model whether at home or in your office i think that is important be a role model when you're an officer here be a role model hmm? and then rules and regulations always follow rules regulation only know when to bend it <laughs> okay and then relationships is very very important of course with those above you, those below you, those with you. So I, I thought that was a message I was getting from you. And ending with a question, I thought that was good also. You ask a question and then walk away. Let them think. That's good. Okay, ladies and gentlemen, our next speaker was Lee Rudo and his evaluator is Go Chi Yong CC. How are you, Lee Rudolph? <laughs> Before we start, can I know who is Jennifer? <laughs> okay. It's about, initially when I thought about this topic, what are you going to say, uh, I mean, to share with us? Is it about your first speech, how are you, and uh, talking about yourself, and etc. You, first I will evaluate you on your content, and the uh, second part I will talk on your delivery. <coughs> on your content, yeah, you re-emphasize how are you quite a number, numerous times during your speech. Uh, understand that you repeatedly talking about your sacrifices, you're talking about, uh, even though you don't write, you uh, jot down your notes during your lecture, but just because of Jennifer, you actually do that, and you actually borrow notes from your senior to ensure that your, your friends actually uh, do well in exam. <coughs> I can relate to those story uh, 15 years back or I mean 10 years back, I'm not so old yet. Yeah. <laughs> so, but to use this message, I mean this story during your speech, I think it's you have to think of your audience whether uh, yeah, what you talk about your personal story is worth relevant to <laughs> yeah, most, yeah, some, uh, some. <laughs> I'm not saying you can't use a uh, love story. Okay, uh, I, will, I will touch on that. And uh, the objective of this speech is to use uh, on the delivery side, you need to use a simple uh, right word, uh, clear, and uh, un eliminate jargon. I think there's not much jargon. I think I can follow your speech throughout. And uh, use a correct grammar. Very um, not much uh, wrong camera. I think that was fine. My suggestion for you is uh, is the one of the objective is to actually to use rhetorical devices. Which I think is that thing. What do you mean by rhetorical devices? Is you can use simulate. You can say that uh, this girl is as beautiful as Angelina Jolie, for example. <laughs> you can use try it like. She's my life, my soul, or my motivation. Some ones, uh, I think some, is that the back or something in the middle, right? Actually, after the middle part of it, actually I got lost until the end. 
because you capture so many how how are you I, in my mind I can really capture how are you then I actually uh, yeah maybe you want to yeah so to me what if you have a you have to think because the previous object manual actually talk about objective of this I mean uh, get to the point what's the objective of the speech that you want us to bring back home what's the key message that is more important rather than I'm not saying that you cannot use the personal story, but at the end of the day, what are the take home messages that you want us to take back home? Probably something that, uh, if you too focus on something in your relationship, probably you, I mean, you neglected uh, your parents or your parents, or something, something simple like that, those are. Uh, then, uh, on the hand gesture and whatever, that will be on the little part, I won't even read that. Other than that, uh, I'm Joy is turning to your speech and uh, because it's a personal story and uh, uh, yeah. I congratulate you again and uh, yeah, thank you. <laughs>
However, when you're making a strong point, you may want to stand still, or, or perhaps you want to step forward. Like when you mention that, what do you think if we could solve our own, pro our own problems? Your, you, your ending was good, but you could have improved it by ending with a quote, or perhaps by challenging us to pick up code in Coursera. Uh, this will give your ending more impact to the audience, and that's it. Uh, overall, it's a very good speech. That was a very good evaluation. I think, uh, Charles, you, had, you were taking notes? No. Anyway, it doesn't matter. Uh, you gave a very good evaluation. You were able to go point by point what is necessary and what is required. I think that's great. And because this speech number three, I know a lot of people have difficulty with this speech because it says you need a general purpose and a specific purpose. People don't understand this. I don't know why, but a lot of people have a problem with this. What is the general purpose? What's the specific? But you were able to understand and able to deliver. Now your general purpose, technology, your specific purpose is how to code. So I think you fulfill the requirements and you did a great job. Congratulations. So ladies and gentlemen, we have